Hello everyone, what's happening? What's Gucci? See, I appeal to both parties there. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever and whenever you're watching this. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. Okay, before we get started, I'm again not feeling well, so yes, I will sound manlier than usual. Okay, so this is a bit of backstory for anyone that might not know. A skinwalker is a type of witch in Navajo culture that has the power to possess, transform, or disguise themselves as any animal they want. A lot of the stories told to Navajo kids about skinwalkers are quite dramatic. They usually end up in either the skinwalker dying or the Navajo dying. They're meant to represent the complete opposite of Navajo cultural values, and so with that in mind, this is the top 10 scary skinwalker stories. Starting us off with Number 10 are the Ash Bullets. This was from a native Navajo who was coming back from the Navajo Nation fair with his family and grandmother. How many times am I gonna say Navajo in this video, I swear. The conversation somehow got onto skinwalkers, but his grandma shut it down pretty quickly. That night, as he was just in bed, he heard something moving outside his house. Thinking it was a stray dog or something, he didn't think much of it, but then he heard the loudest distorted scream, shat himself, then ran downstairs and woke up his mum. They looked outside the window and saw this coyote thing limping towards the door, dragging his right leg as he did. It started scratching at the door and moaning, and all his parents could do was shout words and Navajo at it, telling it it wasn't welcome there. At this point, everyone in the house was awake and panicked, but his granddad knew exactly what to do. He went and got a handgun from a drawer and a bag of ashes. I don't know where he got this bag of ashes from, but he did. And he coated the bullets in it and loaded the gun. He went to the door shouting Navajo words and then opened the door and fired twice but the thing escaped unscathed. His granddad turned around and said that's the fastest one I've ever seen. So he's a pro veteran at this clearly. It was about 4am by the time everyone actually calmed down and the family actually went to a medicine man the next day to be blessed against the skinwalker. Coming in at number 9 is the chase. So this was from a cop called JG Buckland and he recalled how he was once working the night shift at a hotel in New Mexico. He was patrolling the hotel in his car when he decided to take a nap, just what I like to hear from the cop. A bit after 2am, something hit the bottom of his car so hard it actually swayed. Mind you, this was a 1978 Thunderbird, so it was a big, heavy car. I mean, it's not easy to make it move. JG woke up and drove forward and saw there was a dog sort of thing sitting where his car had been. But as he started looking at it, he felt like he was drowning in this dark energy and that this thing was just pure evil. The face of the dog had human features, mostly the eyes, but it didn't have a snout nose that bit also looked more human and it wasn't black tipped like a dog's nose. Size wise it was slightly bigger than an adult German Shepherd which are pretty big in and of itself. With this in mind, JG decided to hit the dog with his car, but it ran off the property but then back onto the property so he started driving after it. It made its way into a third parking lot and then into a weedy area and at this point JG was chasing it on foot with his gun. It came up and threw him aside like he was made of air and then ran away. This thing ran into the weedy area on four legs and exited on two. So the dog was now a nude man that was screaming as it left and after after that encounter, JG had such bad luck, health problems, etc. After this, so he actually went to a shaman to get cleansed from this experience. And I want to be cleansed from telling the story. At number eight, we have the lookalikes. This one's from Redditor Jibby Jam One, who was in New Mexico exploring some old Spanish ruins with some friends. While they were at one of the sites at night, they suddenly heard an angry, ear-piercing, blood-curdling scream, which prompted them to want to get the hell out of there. They went back to their camp, and a while later, the user went for a piss about 300 meters from the camp, and this is where things got weird. He remembered seeing two dust devils coming towards him, but when he turned around, it was just two of his friends who were motioning him to follow them, which he did almost like he was being sucked into doing so. He followed his friends for like 10-15 minutes, but as he was snapping back to reality, he realized these weren't his friends at all. His friends had bright red hair, and these two people's faces were identical to his friends's, but they both had cat-like eyes and were brunette. He stopped in his tracks and they turned to look at him as if they were about to kill him on the spot. He ran in a full sprint back to the camp where his friends hadn't even realized 
realized he was gone. Great friends you have, by the way. And he told them what had happened, and they packed the hell up and drove back to Albuquerque. Filling our number seven slot is the delivery trip. This one's from Reddit user Neptune420, whose dad ran a small delivery service in Farmington, New Mexico. One day they got a delivery for Window Rock, Arizona, on the Navajo reservation, and the dad decided to take his Navajo friend Travis and his girlfriend with him as they wanted to see some family there. So they took two separate trucks and had walkie talkies with them so they could communicate between vehicles. The trip and delivery went fine, they had a great day, but then on their way back, that was when things really took a turn for the worst. They're driving towards a hill, and as they crest it, the dad sees what he thinks is a giant dog sitting on its haunches in the middle of the road, facing away from them. He walkies his friend Travis in the other car, asking if he sees the dog, to which Travis replies, That is not a dog, speed up right now and hit it. Hysterically, he went on and said, Hit it, JJ, you have to hit it. Please, please hit that thing right now. So the dad speeds up, and as they get closer, they see the dog's matted hair seems to have dried blood all over it. And just before they hit it, it turned around to reveal that it had a face. The face was a hybrid between a bear and a human, but it looked distorted and in pain. And as soon as they hit it, it screamed like it was drowning and then ran into the nearby field. They saw a cop a little while later, and Travis made them pull over and was completely on edge when he told the officer that they saw a skinwalker a few miles back and it had been following them. The officer, who was Navajo himself, turned white, stammered something unintelligible, and then got into his car and left. Very helpful. But what I took away from the story is the fact that the dad, no questions asked, just hit this thing. Like he didn't even question Travis, like, oh, why should I hit that dog? He just went from zero to 100 real quick, fast and furious, real quick. Now, at number six is the walking coyote. Now, this one's from Redditor Endelos, who said during the early 80s, her sister was on the way back from a friend's at night when her car broke down. Thankfully, she broke down in front of a family friend's house, so she went in and called her dad, and he came to get her. They were driving back at around 10 p.m. and were passing a heavily wooded area when out of nowhere they hear an incredibly loud inhuman scream. The user's dad hit the brakes just in time to see a six foot tall coyote with a black and white striped tail walking on just two legs. Thankfully I don't think the sister or dad were its true targets because it disappeared quite quickly after that but then they heard the same scream again only 10 times louder than the first time. This time the dad didn't break, he accelerated out of that situation a sap. Coming in at number five is The Running Man. This one's from Brent Swanson, and funnily enough, it also took place near Window Rock, Arizona. He was driving on the highway at night when he saw what seemed to be a large coyote sitting in the middle of the road. He slowed down so he wouldn't hit it, unlike that other user's dad, and he found that the coyote wasn't scared of the car at all. It didn't even move a muscle when Brent honked at it, so he just decided to save himself the trouble and drive around it. As he drove away, his dad turned to him and went with would you look at that? And he was referring to the coyote who was now chasing behind the car. The coyote then matched the speed of the car running right alongside it, and then out of nowhere, the coyote becomes a naked running man, still keeping pace with the car, mind you. The man started slapping the car while having the creepiest grin on his face. Like, I can just imagine that, and it, I just, I just don't want to don't want to imagine it anymore. At this point, they're going like 50 miles per hour, but he's still there. To end his pursuit, the man let out a loud wail and then swerved away. Either way, Brent and his dad were terrified, and I would have been too, but for some reason, I really can't shake the image that this naked man looked like the guy who plays Aquaman. I don't know why, it's just in my head. <laughs> At number four is The Party. This one's from Redditor Trey underscore Lightning, who said that anytime his mum would take him to her hometown on the reservation, she'd always tell him a skinwalker story. But this particular one was told to him by his aunt. Now back in the day, his aunt and her friends used to party a lot, and one day they got in a van, drove out to the boondocks, and just drank. A bit after sunset, everyone was laughing and in good spirits when they heard what sounded like rocks being thrown at the van. The sound stopped, but then an even bigger sound followed, and they quickly realized someone or something had just jumped onto the roof of the van. They locked all the, they lock all the doors, and his aunt is in the driver's seat trying to start the engine, but obviously it doesn't start, like in every horror movie ever. Such timely engine failure, I swear. But anyway, the thing on the roof is still banging on the van, and then his aunt sees a hand with the long nails reach over the roof and start scratching the windshield. Then it jumps off and walks up to her window and just stares at her. And his poor little aunt at this point is just praying for her life, but then after a few minutes of panicking, screaming, and staring, the thing leaves them, and the van finally starts miraculously bang on 
time and they leave. Filling our number three slot is the white powder. This one comes from an anonymous Navajo woman living in Shiprock, New Mexico. She said during one of her visits home, she heard her dogs relentlessly barking at something outside and that she heard a loud thud above her on the roof. Her sisters got quite scared and her parents assured her it was just a dog or a cat and just to go to sleep. Parents really need to stop telling us it's just a cat or a dog because clearly, as we've seen, it's not. But anyway, the dogs were continually barking and running back and forth and then she had a metal pole hit one of the dogs and she knew it was a pole because her sister had put it on the roof the day before. She tried to get up but fell into a deep sleep and the last thing she heard were human footsteps on the roof. The next day there was nothing suspicious on the roof or around but her cousin did complain about her head hurting and the next day she straight up died just like that. They brought a medicine man to conduct a ceremony and he said that two of you know exactly what happened. He went on to say it was a man in bare skin on the roof of the house and he was using a hummingbird as a lookout and a helper and he blew white powder onto the woman's cousin which is why she died but that was also the reason why everyone in the house fell into a deep sleep that night. The ceremony went on and the woman later found out that the powder used was crushed human bones taken from graveyards. As if the story wasn't screwed up enough. Now at number two is the herd. This one's also from Reddit and Navajo Joe, which is quite fitting, I guess. But when he was a kid, him and his uncle were on their way back from chopping and gathering firewood. They were going slow on this dirt road, and Joe just had this feeling he was being watched, and he was about to look out his window when his uncle shouted, Don't. He then heard three taps on his window as his heart literally felt like it had stopped beating. His uncle started praying and going faster, and he thought all was okay, but then the truck dipped from the bed. At this point his uncle just kept saying look at me don't turn away just look at me please and he heard the tapping again. Joe was now crying at this point as the truck dipped for the second and third time. Finally his uncle gave a sigh of relief and said they'd both need prayers in the morning so the evil would forget their faces. When they got home Joe called his uncle a while later because he had had a nightmare. His uncle said he didn't see any faces just eyes like they were just lights on the road. Joe asked him why he didn't just slam on the brakes when it was in the back and his uncle replied saying because it wasn't alone. When I read that the first time it legit just gave me shivers. Like how can you end a story like that because it wasn't alone. That's a great. And finally, at number one is The Thing. So this one, again, is from Joe, and he lived on the reservation when the story took place. He was home with his two brothers and dogs one night when they started making a lot of noise outside. People, you have to trust your dogs when they're barking at stuff outside. It's probably a skinwalker. In the middle of the night, Joe and his brother woke up because the barking started again. He went outside and saw that one of the dogs was just losing it near the truck. When he looked there, there was a really tall man there looking at the dog and then kicking it. When it looked up, it had a pure white face, a pure black smile, and red burning eyes. It came to him and towered over him, and all Joe could see was a deep red. Things are clearly not going well at this point. His brother finally came out of the house not knowing what was going on, and at this stage the thing's hands were inches away from Joe's head. From what he could recall, its skin was black and it smelt like a bloated dead animal, and he was just stood there unable to move or speak. The skinwalker let him be and went for his brother and said which is what finally broke Joe out of this trance and made him really angry. He started baring his teeth at it and growling in a way he didn't even know he could do. He kept roaring at it while it smiled back at him and his smile faded the angrier Joe got and then he just ran away into the night. That's it. No murder, no clawing at the face, just ran away into the night. And that's it for today's video guys. I probably pronounced Navajo a bunch of different ways in this video, but that's fine. Skinwalkers are clearly quite a common thing to encounter as a Navajo and these stories just sound like the stuff of nightmares, not dreams my friend. Let me know in the comments below if you yourself have ever encountered a skinwalker, I really hope you haven't. But do let me know and also let me know which story scared you the most on this list. As always, I'm your host Eamon Hassan and I'll see you next time. Bye!